for this one, ladies and gentlemen, you might want to sit down. We got some of the scariest ghosts caught on camera. Make sure to drop a thumbs up, subscribe. Welcome to Fearsome Top 5. I did some research, and now I present to you five scary videos of ghosts <laughs> caught on camera. Number one. Number one. A man named Jojo Owens claims to be dealing with paranormal activity. After moving into what he thought was the perfect house in 2004, he soon realized it might not be as perfect as he thought. He began to hear loud footsteps throughout the house in the middle of the night. What's more scary, footsteps or knocking on the door? And eventually, these footsteps turned into bangs and knocks. And over time, the activity continued to escalate. Well, one night, after waking up from the sound of movement in his kitchen, Jojo grabbed his camera and managed to catch this. Uh-oh, uh-oh, yo, I... I feel real bad when I don't have my ears off with me. Oh. No, Dude, flick the no. switch. Turn on lights. I'm not stupid here. Turn on the lights. I don't know how much more I take, take this crap. All right, who's in here? Bro, turn on the lights. Uh, yo, it's gonna jump oh, on. It's <laughs> freaking me out. Bro, 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 bro. My guy, my guy, my guy, turn on the lights, dude. Yo, turn on the lights. All right, who's there? My, oh my God. Oh, it shut down? Oh, no, no, no. What? Bro. Eh, eh, eh. Heather. Get, get in here, oh get, get in here now. Get in here. Get in here. Dog, like the camera, uh, the, 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 because of the camera, her eyes were going, and that's just the scariest thing ever, dude. Here. Let's go in here. Hey. Just get behind me. Get behind me. Get behind me. <laughs> get behind me. Cover me, I'm loving. Come on, let's go in here. But come turn on, on the come lights, on. man. Come on. <laughs> After asking who's in here, objects on the counter begin to move, and the cabinets eerily begin to open and close on their own. It wasn't even that scary, but the but but the but the anticipation is crazy. Now fast forward to today. Jojo is living in a new house with his wife, but the activity has only seemed to follow him. Jojo and his wife often see mysterious shadows out of the corner of their eyes, appearing to be just a few feet away. But as they turn their head to get a better look, there's no one there. Well, one night, while his wife was asleep, Jojo heard a noise coming from the back room. And although Damn. hearing strange noises happens almost every night in his home, this time he decided to set up his phone to record. And incredibly, he managed to catch this. Okay, start praying, boys. Start praying. I can do it with my fist. Hey, I don't like this hallway, bro. Bro. Why am I always on the edge? I'm a Giga Chad. You're a Giga Chad. We're strong. Oh, whoa, hey, hey. Honey, I'm on. Yo, that shadow. What would your reaction be if you saw that? Hey, hey. Bro. Bro. Like, I'm dead ass. I'm dead ass losing it. Man, the head. Why is it always the head? Beep, beep. I, I gotta have the... This gives me strength. I gotta hold the weapon, man. This gives me strength. I'm done playing. I'm done playing. I'm done playing. Show yourself. Show yourself. Start praying, Chad. Start praying. E e but... E oh. That shadow genuinely freaked me out, but it, it's his shadow. Watch it be on the other side While of the- Jojo's phone was left recording, a dark figure quickly walks across the hall. After seeing this with his own eyes, Jojo- What would your reaction be if you saw this in the middle of the night? Would you actually go investigate? I mean, in a way you want to, right? Because you're not thinking of the paranormal. You're thinking about, hey, what if somebody actually broke into my house and genuinely you want to go and you're not sure uh, and it's kind of creepy as well. But but yeah, I mean, there's not really... Damn, man, it's 
Eh, I don't know, man. But what what would you do? What would you do? We immediately grabbed his phone and went to take a look in the back room to see if anyone could possibly be inside the house. It's so confusing, man. But as always, there was no <laughs> one there. Number two. Number two. Jadar Alvarez is just your average TikTok user that enjoys playing soccer and hanging out with friends. There's nothing too out of the ordinary on his TikTok, except for one video that stands out from the rest. One night, as Jadar was out playing soccer with friends, he set up his phone to record the action. Well, when he later took a look at the footage, he noticed something bizarre up in the clouds above. <laughs> That's a triple. I forgot the name. I forgot the name. That's like that the pyramid one. That triangle shape. But now it's like rectangle. Now it's a square. Yeah, damn. Aliens? Four I don't know mysterious it. lights begin to blink into view in the distance, then quickly float by in unison. These lights don't. And this is not a plane. This is sir, definitely 110% not a plane because the plane lights are completely different. Appear to be a part of an airplane, and this light formation looks to be way too big to be a drone. So yeah. what exactly could this be? I'm keeping my fingers crossed that the aliens have finally decided to visit Earth and hopefully help us out with these gas prices. Hopefully, Number three. Maybe. A man named Justin is a teacher that runs a TikTok account where he posts random videos of anything that catches his Now does everybody runs on TikTok interest. Now. From videos about Dr. Pepper to whatever this is, Justin has built a fan base of people that look Yo, honestly, I want one of these. Or to seeing what he's up to next. Well, in a recent series of videos, his TikToks took an interesting turn. In a video Justin posted, showing himself installing LED reverse lights on his car, someone commented asking, how do they look at night? Which led Justin to make a video in response. But little did he know what he would end up catching on camera. The lights are definitely functional, but unfortunately I live in a city and there are street lights everywhere. But I can find a place to go test them. Okay, I found some really dark woods. I just put some tin foil over the reverse lights. So I'm going to show you what the stock reverse lights look like, and then I'm going to uncover them and show you. Yeah, why I have a feeling that something will pop behind his back. What the added reverse lights look like. These are the stock reverse lights. Eh? Okay, this is dark. Literally hey. can't see anything. Bro, you, you jigger too, man. What's up with the, what's up with that? And these are the ones I just installed. The, it, what the what the hell look how friggin bright that is this oh is amazing God. yeah so these dude are not this bottom just for looks as justin flipped the switch for his new reverse lights they revealed something that was lurking in the distance a pale white arm can be seen wrapped around a tree then slowly pull back out of view justin did not notice this arm at the time Bro, there are so many horror stories if in the woods. Like, I watch so many Mr. Balan videos. How many of you watch Mr. Balan? I watch so many of... My favorite videos uh, from him are definitely, like, the woods videos because, like, he always tells a story about stuff like that and it's genuinely very freaky and scary. And had no idea what he caught until his TikTok comments pointed it out. Well, Justin ended up going back to the same location during the day to scope it out. Okay, I'm leaving work. Two blocks that way is where the arm was. Maybe people that just live in the... Okay, this road goes down to the lake, which is right there in a public boat landing. This is where my truck was backed in. Well, it's actually a path, and that is the tree with the stick leaned up against it. As mm -hmm. you can see, people illegally dump stuff out here all the time. Mostly trash, but a lot of animal carcasses too. And this is the tree. Oh my god. Yeah, this is it. This is where we saw the hand. And here we are behind the tree. It's where my exterior was back in. 
what's a scariest what's the scariest place to be i would say a forest 110 percent, especially at night even if you get a flashlight the flashlight is always limited you're always getting that round shaped light and not like the full light and everywhere else is dark right and if you see like a little movement it's just gonna freak you out if you know that there's no one supposed to be and then your mind will start to play games on you it will start to make things up that don't even exist and yeah i would for me i think that this is probably gonna uh, as of now there might there's probably some some somewhere else it's gonna be way more scarier than this but it this is probably the the scariest place for me for now. i'm about 5 10 i'm assuming i'm not a very superstitious person so you're not gonna get much out of me i just think you know if anything you know somebody back here so there's across the lake is a neighborhood there boat landing parking is right there all these trails people use four wheelers and dirt bikes but they haven't been used in a long time two summers ago i even brought my kids camping up on that ridge right there just primitive camping and hammocks and uh didn't think anything of it just mm. a bunch of trash and you know typical Dear. so not much of a real update just wanted to show y'all where it was right there what a guy well, this could be a what a guy if you know you know now i'm still not sure what this could have been or whether this was paranormal or just a creepy hobo in the woods. <laughs> Number four. TikTok Number four. user Shaylee recently experienced something that she still can't explain. One day, while Shaylee was relaxing at home, the Wi Fi randomly went out. And with no internet connection, she decided to kick back on the couch and entertain herself. Damn, man. Like, no internet connection? That sucks, man. On her phone. But as she was sitting there, her dog suddenly began. First world problems, you know? Growling at the front door. And as she turned her head to take a look, she caught a glimpse of a shadow moving past her door. Thinking she was just seeing things, Shaylee went back to her phone. Until a few minutes later, when her dog was on high alert once again. And as she looked towards the door, she saw something bone chilling. Uh oh. Oh, saw something bone chilling. I think in the window there will be a face. Oh my god, I'm ready, bruh. I'm ready to bust dog the entire. Ee, ee, ee. What the fuck? Shadow? Maybe we'll. Oh, maybe we'll come back. Uh oh. Do you scared of my door? Something looks to be casting a shadow in the window, and whatever this thing is, it appears to be trying to look inside the house. All of Shaylee's dogs sat in silence as they also tried to figure out what the hell they were seeing. Shaylee went to check her cameras, but since the Wi-Fi was out, the cameras were offline. She then asked her neighbors to check their cameras and ended up posting this update. All right, so here is the update of what was in my window that Tuesday night. So I went over. Oh, God damn, bro, dude! I think I'm in love. I think I'm in love. My neighbors and I yeah. asked her if she could look at her cameras um, on Tuesday, the 22nd, at 9:36 at night, because that's when I took the video. I originally posted on the Snapchat, so I knew I'd be able to see exactly when I posted it. And what they came back is they weren't able to see anything. She said there was oh, nothing that was coming from the um, my front porch, nothing that walked between our houses. Her camera doesn't point directly to my front door, so there's literally only a small, small spot. If they followed my this bush that I have in my front yard up to my front door, that they would be able to not be seen by any of the cameras. Mm. So that doesn't really give us an answer as to what that was in my front door. There was no coyote. There was no deer. My ring cameras, all my cameras were off of Wi-Fi. So like, no idea as to what the fuck was in my window. The the fact that the the her dogs were like all staring and just sitting silently. That's probably the the the, the craziest part. I would say. So let's just pray that that doesn't happen again, and that I don't see these crazy shadows. But. Yeah, so no idea still what is in my window that the night. The dogs didn't even so move, for now, you know? It looks like this figure remains a mystery. Number five. Number five. Over on the YouTube channel Paranormal Nightmares, a woman named Kathy uploads videos of a strange activity in her home. Her entire family have had paranormal experiences that they have no explanation for. And most of this activity looks to be the work of a poltergeist, with random objects around the house being moved by an unseen force. While well, Kathy's daughter complained that she had been hearing weird noises as she was trying to sleep, so they decided to set up a camera in her room to see if they could catch this activity, and what they caught was bone chilling. Uh-oh! Uh-oh! 
I have a feeling that something will be in the... Yeah, I'm gonna put the camera here, just... Oh! Oh! Bro, look at that! Okay, that's... I... It always freaks me out. Because the camera catches... It's night mode, so the eyes are just... So the door slammed. What the? What the hell? As Kathy's daughter was laying in bed, the closet door slightly moves on its own. And moments later, it sounds like something got tossed to the floor. Kathy's daughter sat up to get a closer look, and as she does, a basketball comes flying out of the closet. What? She then bravely made her way to the closet to make sure no one was inside before running out of the room. And she gets major props for that, because I would have said F the closet and skedaddled out of there. Thanks for sticking around until the end of the video. Make Damn. sure to follow me on Instagram. Damn, okay, but click on this video on the screen. I'm telling you, man, if you enjoyed this video, this is the craziest one. Click on it, subscribe, and we'll see you.